and government troops stormed the National Broadcasting Centre on Tuesday, where the rebel officers had attempted to announce that they had overthrown the government because it was corrupt. The coup followed an IMF investigation that unveiled high-level corruption in Zambia's democratically elected government. The man believed to be the leader of the failed coup attempt, Captain Stephen Lungu, or Solo, was found and interrogated. Government troops soon rounded up around 16 others who were also arrested and questioned. Following a special cabinet meeting on Wednesday, Zambian President Frederick Chaluba called for a state of emergency, vowing to find all those involved. We shall not resolve our problems by iron and blood. The president said that people had chosen his government democratically and that it would not be overthrown by force. He also said he did not suspect the involvement of opposition parties. Later on Wednesday, a group of students held a peace protest and announced the coup leader. The state of emergency, which gives police sweeping arrest and search powers, is valid for a week and may be renewed.